Welcome to Crypto Mastery Class. I'm Susie, aka Crypto Girl. We got Joe on the line, the creator of Crypto Mastery. We are here to make crypto easy to understand and simple to invest in. So we're going to quickly go over news, overall market, hot movers in the basket, look at the indicators, and most importantly, your questions and answers. Who is walking toward digital assets today? And before we start in this, just to give you a quick heads up, this is not financial advice. It's for informational purposes only. Wealthy people of Hong Kong and Singapore are, are walking toward crypto. So this is by Suzuki Shilislot on ambcrypto.com. So a recent survey from the KPMG suggests that over 90% of family offices and high net worth individuals, they call them HNWIs, are either interested in investing in digital asset fields or have already done so. So this suggests that Hong Kong and Singapore's wealthy elite are looking at digital assets with zeal. Up to 58% of family offices and high net worth individual respondents to a recent poll are already investing in digital assets and 34% intend to do so according to a research published on October 24th by KPMG China and Aspen Digital titled Investing in Digital Assets. So around 30 family offices and high net worth individuals in Hong Kong and Singapore participated in the poll with the majority of respondents managing assets between 10 million to 500 million. The CEO of cryptocurrency asset management company Aspen Digital, Yang He, explained these findings as follows. Over the last 18 months, we have seen a huge increase in institutional investor interest in digital assets. For the Asian private wealth management industry, digital assets represents an emerging asset class with opportunities that are unrivaled within other financial products. The other thing I thought was very good for you guys to understand that is going on right now, I wanted to uh, bring this to the table too as we see who is coming towards digital assets. Well, Lloyds Bank concludes that UK's first digital promissory note transaction was worth 48 million pounds. This is by Albert Brown on the CryptoBasic.com. So Lloyds Bank has completed the first digital promissory note transaction in the UK, which involved a $48 million pound land purchase. The Digital Negotiable Instrument Initiative, DNI, is one of the numerous initiatives to encourage the digitization of businesses and financial operations. Launched by the International Trade and for Fading Association, ITFA, the DNI seeks to completely digitize promissory notes and bills of exchange using distributed ledger technology. They call that DLT. Lloyds Bank, one of the IFTA's partners on the DNI initiative, just recently completed the first digital promissory note transaction. A press release from the bank disclosed, according to the press release, the promissory note transaction saw the purchase and sale of 48 million. Um, wow, sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa, what, oh, 48 million pounds. So one, one second, guys, let me get back to that slide. <laughs> ah. All right, so 48 million um pounds worth of land among several businesses in the UK. The transaction was carried out on August 18th. So just so that you know, 48 pounds sterling equals $55 million, $55,126,320 million. So that was a very large digital transform digital contract that was uh came to be very exciting for the people that are really really bullish on the blockchain okay so now let's look at the overall market bitcoin and ethereum market cap 
So currently we're at $941 billion. We jumped over $40 billion in the last seven days. You can see around October 23rd to the 25th. So realistically, literally that $40 billion jumps was, was less than seven days. I would say it was only within 23rd, 24th, 25th. So three days you had that kind of a fluctuation. Well, actually, looking back onto the 21st, it went down to 900 billion. Either way, the overall market is up since the last seven days. And so we're going to see as we deep dive into our basket and other coins in and on Coinbase, how that has impacted those coins. So the one week performance heat map, this is in market cap block sizes, shows that not really. The, like that money that just came into the market didn't just go into one specific coin. You can see that with this, the there's three shades of red, and those show the first, second, and third steps on the price going down. And then the three shades of green, the dark green, the mid green, and the, and the light green, those represent the three price points moving up. Now, it, it's not really specific, but just in general, three steps up. So the reason why I say that there is not some dramatic change is because we don't have a surplus of dark reds. You do have Ripple and Soul went down, but the dark greens, there's not a lot of dark greens. So where did that money go? And um, the stable coins, we, you could do a deep dive into the market uh, cap of those stable coins to see if that's where the money went. But either way, there's not one specific coin that's just standing out boldly in the higher market cap coins that says, hey, this is where all the money is flowing to. So therefore, to know where it went, we need to deep dive into the charts using the crypto mastery indicators. So if you like to know what's really going on in the market beyond the fundamentals, beyond the news, it's very important to have indicators that you can rely on, that you understand. So I use CryptoMastery.online indicators. To subscribe to them, just go to the URL above, CryptoMastery.online, and you can probably find a link in the comments below. So here is Bitcoin USD one-day performance chart with Crypto Mastery indicators. Okay, guys, this is really exciting. So this is, remember, it's a one-day chart. So each candlestick, stands for the average of the movement of Bitcoin for one day. So you have the early reversal that came in, looks like at least around two weeks ago. And the average true range hasn't been broken yet. So I personally put in that orange line so that you could see where the Bitcoin price has to get to, to flip the direction of Bitcoin enough to move that average true range to an upward momentum so you the ultimate goal if you're buying low selling high you want to get that average true range into the green zone and that's going to be more of a, a reliable assurance that it's going to continue to go up so at this point that's something we're waiting on now the those indicators i mean not the indicators but i want you to look at those candlesticks they're black now why am i telling you that because in the previous candlesticks, they were red. And what that is significant, it's significant of is the, the volatility index, which is the bottom indicator. And it shows you if you're an oversold or overbought zone. So when you're in the red zone, that is key, key, key time. That is like buying when there's blood in the streets. It's, it's you're in the all time low oversold zone. So, Honestly, this chart triggered me personally to go in there and get some Bitcoin just because I I should have gotten it when we were in the volatility index of below 20. So now we're at 29.73. So therefore, Bitcoin is moving out of the oversold zone on the one day chart. Uh, so when that candlestick changes to, to black, it's not bad but it's not getting at the rock bottom prices as I prefer. So that's just one of those indicators saying, okay, so once that candlestick gets to green, you're in the oversold zone. And what comes up goes down, what goes down goes up. 
as long as you have a good particular asset that is uh, got a large market cap and there's multiple, multiple um, foundational money in that system. So again, not financial advice, okay? Just for educational purposes only. And I'll express and explain my personal movements, I guess. So, so that's what's going on in that early reversal and average true range for Bitcoin right now. Now go down to the next zone, which is the trend. You could see that it has been moving up the trend line. It's I know it's kind of tiny. We'll, we'll pull this chart up live and go in a deeper dive and zone in more. But the trend line is triggered a six, and the underlying line under the four, the dollar sign and the six, is green, indicating it's it's still projecting an upward movement. Now the radar that is significantly exciting for someone that buys lows and sells high. So the 60 minute average, that's the one hour, that's what the 60 star stands for. It's trending upward on average. The four hour, which is 240 minutes is up. The D stands for the day that's up and the week stands for seven days. And that is trending up. Beautiful. It's like walking outside on a sunny day, pure sun, nice white puffy clouds. It's where you want to be. All right, the trend strength indicator. That is still got a little bit more room until it gets to oversold. And it is a very strong trending upward signal. Now, the next one is the signal line. That one is green. I don't like the fact that it's so close to the gold line below. So that needs to be, you need to keep an eye on that. But for, and, and remember, so the signal line, it is green, so that is good, but it doesn't have a lot of space between the gold line and the green line. The index, the volatility index in the bottom, that is at a 29.73. So I like to buy things on ultimate discount. Ideally, it's best I like to buy something where it's 20 and under, but at this point, the volatility index is at 29.73. I still have a tremendous amount of room to grow to get to 80 to 100. So that on that volatility index, to read this indicator, when you get into that upper green band, which starts at number 80 and it ends and tops off at 10, 100, when you're in that area, that's one of those zones where you know like you're hitting a ceiling, right? So this is in the middle zone. It's what Joe and I call let the cake bake zone when it's black. So I just want to again emphasize that the color of the line and the volatility index is reflected on those top indicators. The candlestick color reflects that volatility index. So when you see red, it's absolutely exact opposite of a stop sign. That's one of those things where it's like, it's time to go. You just got to figure out when it's low enough for you to get in. And then on a personal level, you need to know how much stamina you have because this is crypto. It is risky and it fluctuates, which is what makes it super exciting and could and has made a tremendous amount of, of uh, rewards for people but it has lost a lot too. So it's one of those balancing acts that you have to really kind of know where you're at and what's best for you and your financial statement. All right, so that is the Bitcoin USD one day performance chart with the crypto mastery indicators. We are now gonna jump into Ethereum USD one day performance chart with the crypto mastery indicators. So we have the early reversal came in again days ago, it looks like around October 11th or 12th. The average true range is still just like Bitcoin in the downward downward projection at this point. Now, just like Bitcoin, it's out of the oversold zone on the one day basis. You can see those candlesticks went from red and they're now black. All right. We have this one in particular. Those I didn't talk about this on um, the Bitcoin chart, so I apologize. But those three lines in the back that are blue on the top indicator of the early reversal and average tree range. Those are Keltner bands. So on a one day basis, you can see that that candlestick has hit the top Keltner band. Those are averages of where things will go or trajectories. So therefore, if, if this breaks through that top Keltner and goes above and beyond that top red average tree range, then we'll have broken out of the downward trajectory for the average true range and be in an upward movement. So that is something that we're waiting on that for. So as far as 
my personal favorite, buying things on an ultimate discount, that black colored candlestick represents Susie. This is not on super sale, <laughs> all right? But it it's still Ethereum, and I'm a long I'm a long holder on Ethereum, so I'm excited to acquire some more Ethereum. All right, so now the next zone is the trend zone, and the positive thing about this is the trend line is green, and it is still triggering numbers. So we've got a two here, so that means that the trend indicator is still moving up, which is exciting. And the radar for the one hour, which is 60 minutes, it's up. For the four hour average, it's up. And the day average is up. The one week has not triggered to go up yet. So we need that consistency on those one days in order to trigger the one week for being up. So Ethereum has a lot of downward movement lately. So the good thing is, is Ethereum overall is at a good low price. All right, so now we have the trend indicator. Trend strength, it is still moving up. Now, I want to give you a little warning. That trend strength indicator, which we call the TSI, that is hitting the oversold zone. I know that's awkward, but that's one of those things that what comes up comes down. So be careful and you need to be cognizant of that. And this is why swing trading is good for people that don't have time to have stamina to hold long term and if they can't handle waves then this is one of those things that you need to understand there is a risk factor because of the fact that it is hitting uh it will it doesn't have much more room before it hits a ceiling in the tsi so you could see on the right hand side of that trend strength indicator it says 83.9 that's where it's at now a 100 is the ultimate ceiling where Typically, things hit. You could see back on September 12th, uh, a little bit before that, maybe 11th or the 10th, that you had the TSI in the top zone, and then it was just a matter of a day, and then it went back down. So people are taking profit often, and if you don't, someone else will take your profit for you. <laughs> so it, it's good to see this. Sometimes, you know, there's times I didn't take profit, and I thought, whoa, why didn't I do that? So it's a personal preference. And then again, you got to know your stamina. How long can you hold this before you want or need those profits? Okay, so then you have the signal line. It's It's got more space than Bitcoin did, but it's still in the upward trajectory. So that's good. And the last part is that volatility index, one of my favorite indicators. And it's at a 29.52. You can see that on the black highlighted number on the right hand side. And you can see on the volatility index where that indicator line is. It's still low. So unlike the trend strength in the almost, almost oversold zone, volatility index is showing it's got a lot of room to grow. So that's one of those things you just have to seesaw and decide which one you're gonna go with. And overall, when you take all the indicators into consideration, you know, I think that you'll, you'll make good sound decisions having this much quantitative analysis and numbers on your side. And you'll also understand the, the risk that you're dealing with if you go into something like this, because not all the indicators are saying yes at this point. The, the average true range is not in the, in the long-term upward spiral. So if if you are, uh, if if you are not um, going for long term, and if you don't have stamina, then you know that's one of those things that you need to take into consideration. Can you emotionally handle with that average true range not being the upward trajectory position? And can you handle if you get this and that trend strength hits more of a ceiling and you miss the opportunity to take profit? And uh, and also if you're trading on a one day basis. The percentage of increases in one day is not as high as if you let it season for a month or two months or a season. So it's all personal understanding of what you can handle. All right, so now we're going to get deep into multiple coins, not just Bitcoin or Ethereum. So in our basket, we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polygon, Cardano, Chainlink, Litecoin, Cosmos, Algorand, Harmony, Phantom, and Solana. And most of these coins can be found on Coinbase. So we're going to check out what the hot movers of the basket are doing. And today is amazing. All the coins in the basket are moving up at the time of publishing this slide. And so I chose to show you guys the chart 
for Algorand because it has the most percentage upward. It's at 6% increase at the time of publishing this. So what you're looking at is the Algorand USD one day performance chart. So we have the early reversal came in three days ago. Each one of these candlesticks again represents one day. You can see on the Keltner band for the one day of Algorand, it has not hit that top Keltner band, but it did surpass the middle. And then you, let's like take our eyes down. Oh, one other thing I want to let you know about Algorand is the average true range is still in the red zone. It's still not broken through that top band. So if you take your eyes to the right hand side and you can see that red highlighted number 0 0.3581 that's what we need to pass to trigger the average true range to change into an upward trajectory right so that isn't a that is a risk factor that you need to take into consideration if you're interested in getting into algo is that we have not hit that point 35 well, 35 cents is actually but it's, it's almost it's like say definitely if you get to 36 cents you're in the average true range upward trajectory all right, now let's go to the next zone. So we have the trend and the radar. So the trend has triggered a key. That key means, it's hello, hello, we have a key opportunity here. Hang tight, the bell will be back tomorrow if this continues to move in that upward direction. On the radar, we have the 60 minute. That means that for one hour average, it's moving up. The 240, which is four hours, is moving up. The D for the one day average is moving up. For the one week, it's not average to be going up yet because you need some consistent days to get to that one week trajectory to moving up. So that next on the indicator list is a trend strength and it's showing an upward swing for two days. Looks like there may have been a pause in the in the in between the two days, but at this point it's still moving upward. And the good sign is that the signal line is green. So you get the first dot and switched on the signal line so that's very exciting and the last indicator the volatility index it's at a 31.37 so we're out of the red zone we're out of the over sold zone and we're in the let the cake bake zone so 31.37 gives us a lot of room to grow until we get to that 100 mark which is typically the ceiling so i like to hear that so let's go back to that basket list. So we have second highest mover at the moment is Cardano. Then you have Solana, Ethereum, Matic, Cosmos, which is Atom, One, which stands for Harmony, Litecoin, Phantom, Bitcoin, and then Linked, which is Chainlink. All right, so now let's jump into the crypto screener. This is the crypto pair screener one day performance chart, and I filtered it with just Coinbase coins. So I'm calling this the beyond the basket coins because it's not triggering just what we have in our basket. And so what I filtered this particular crypto pair screener from TradingView by is the percentage change. So I wanted to look at what was going up in the market right now. I put a star next to the, the RTG and the Aurora because I wanted you guys to look at that. And I also specifically wanted you to see the technical rating. This is TradingView's technical rating and it says sell. I don't do what TradingView tells me to do. I look and deep dive into that chart, but I did want to take a time to explain to you when it says sell, it's just because, you know, look, it went up 18% in one day and then Aurora went up 12%. So some people are going to be taking profit and they know that. It's a big swing. That's a big percentage. And depending on how much you have in that and you've invested, that's pretty exciting money, right? So especially in a time when it's been a long kind of like crypto drought, I feel lately. So that's some exciting movement. And if you've got that, I'd love for you to look at that, you know, look at that investment and see if it's something that you want to take profit on. Then the next one you have is QuantStamp. So I put a line underneath QuantStamp because I wanted you guys to see that this is showing Quant Stamp with USD, and the next one is Quant Stamp with US Tether, well, US TD. So, same coin, it's just the pair is a little different. So, that went up 10% and it for the USD and 9.99% for the Tether combo. And those are saying buy. So, we definitely want to deep dive into those charts to kind of see where they're at and if they suit your particular situation. 
The next zone is axi infinity. And I wanted to separate those two because they're both axi infinity. It's just one paired with tether and one paired with USD. Now it's saying sell. So, you know, the percentage change is 7%, but maybe it went up more in the days before us. So that's something you want to look at. If you have that in your portfolio, you may want to see if it's enough profit to take profit right now. And then DREP, that went up 7.26% in the last day, and that is being triggered as a sell. And then you have the MINA, M-I-N-A, U.S. dollar pair, and then the tether pair. So that went up 7 and 7% 7 with both of those, and TradingView is saying buy on that. And then let's just skip down to TONE, T-O-N-E. It's the only one amongst all of these that has a strong buy. And it went up 6.2%. So I thought, well, let's review that live. And that's what we'll do. And if you guys, you can take a screenshot of this. I also posted this in a Facebook group. So if you are a member of Crypto Mastery, you'll have access to the Facebook group. And you can see these slides there. So go to CryptoMastery.online if you want to review the indicators and you want to deep dive into the explanation on how to use them. They will give you so much peace of mind and you will understand what to do and when to do it. I 100% guarantee you it is such a fun experience to be trading and having these indicators. It will take rid of all of your anxiety. You'll just wash it away and you will just jump into these charts with total confidence. So now it's time for Q&A and for you guys to meet Joe. And this is when we are going to go in and check out Tone. So here, and, and look, you guys are in time for, I just got a, an alert on Solana. So maybe we should jump into Solana. So here is Tone. Joe, do you want to say hello to everybody? Hi, everyone. How's it going? Well, it was an exciting day today in, in uh, crypto, Susie. Thanks. Yeah, I'm so excited that you're uh, here with me today. Absolutely. Look at look at tone. It, it was so much movement in tone in the last day or, or a few days that it triggered the average true range. Look at that, 120% in 13 days. Wow, it's incredible. So that's, and they're still saying buy. That's the strong buy from TradingView. Wow, exactly right. I'm just going to tighten this up. It, it, it's new on Coinbase, too. I'd be curious to see if it's one of those tests that you can take so you get free tone. <laughs> Wouldn't that be incredible? Yeah. Well, well you know, it looks like it's, uh, it's testing in here that high from uh, in September. I mean, or actually it broke that high. Right here. So it actually broke that high right there. So I, I would be the first thing I'd be looking at just looking at the chart is, is we actually if you take a horizontal line, yeah, we need to close above that. That's what I'd be looking for. You know, because right now, uh the market in here has moved a significant amount, you know. Now there still is room for it to go. Like if you look at the trend indicator, the trend indicator is still on a three. So I mean we can get the numeric count all the way up. But what, generally what I look for is I look for the previous highs to see where that resistance level is because that's what it's going to really take for this market to get into like a, a, a macro trend, like a super trend. You know, you got short-term trends and then you got the super trend. Well, you know, Joe, here is a, one of the – it may sound silly, but it's three cents. I mean, look at that high was three cents. So right now it's at two cents. A little bit, you know, close to three, but still that is um, so low. And when in 2018, when I started in crypto, you could find 0. 0.000 something. And you thought, wow, what can I get for a penny? This is amazing. I was getting such quantities of crypto. But then something flipped and and so many people got into crypto land and the initial after initial coin offering the coins went from being like under a penny to a penny to more than a penny when they just jumped onto the first time on the market 
So to find something with two cents, as silly as it may seem, it's a super deal right now. Um, that's like, it's low. That's what I'm saying. So it could be, you know, you have penny stocks and things like that. I mean, this is more than a penny, but it's pretty exciting. And you could see down here, let's see. Yeah, it was actually down to a penny very recently. So kudos forever for whoever got into this market. Very exciting. Um, all right. So. Yeah. So, you know, what I wanted to do was is first thing um, kind of go to the Ethereum. It's just that uh, I just wanted to follow up on what you were uh, showing in there because uh, we actually had a new bell alert. And from that bell alert, we actually started to move to the upper end of the Kelder band. And what's significant about this is, is, is that the uh, ATR comes in at 1437 and she's trading 1410 right now. So I think there's a good chance that she's, she will break this mark. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, now, um, I don't, I, I have my resistance up at like 15 quarter. Right. Uh, you know, so I'd be looking for to see if it actually gets back up above that, but it's good right now. Uh, as far as like, um, the momentum of the market. So this is where you actually can really utilize the tools because, um, first we, you know, the journey starts with the ERI. And we get the ERI print. And a lot of times, these markets just don't go right away as much as we'd want them to go. It's like, you know, the roadmap for success plays out in real time. It's a different movie than what we see in real time. The only thing we can do is, is position ourselves with the technology and the clues and let the movie play itself out. And, um, you know, uh, Susie, if you look in there from the bell alert, okay, you can see in there that was the last signal before actually she started to move. Yeah, I'm gonna put, so, a, I'm gonna put um, a, a vertical line up here. Yeah, and you could, well, you know, it's beautiful. Look at this signal line. Look at the space between there, showing the momentum. And and right when that bell hit, that's when the volatility index. Well. Well, look, what, look, at this is another thing. I love your indicators, Joe. I, I just, hands down, can't live without them. So what is another beautiful thing is right here, guys. I always tell you, watch the color of the candlestick. It went from red to black. Boom. There was like no turning back. So right there, that's when it tells you when it's red, you're under the 20 mark down here on the volatility index. So at that point, it was probably... Look, you could see that line. It was about 15.69. So, personally, I pay total attention when we get down to these areas in the volatility index where they're super, super low. So, if I was going to put a vertical a line here saying, when, when that volatility index is low, where are we at? So, you could see, like, if, if that was an acquisition that you had done back then, it you're still in a win-win situation 6.29 percent not you know this is not a huge exciting moment but it's still in a super low zone so just trying to say like make sure you pay attention to the red zone when these candlesticks are red um and when this gets super low closest to zero as possible even though other indicators may not be triggering in in my experience when i when i go backward and i check the data it always seems to be a good thing when you have that volatility index that low. So I almost feel like, Joe, like I'm missing the boat if it's gotten into the black zone. But I think I know soon as things are, I, I specifically went with the one day charts today because I was noticing this influx over across the board, especially when I when I opened up our our basket today. I thought, oh my gosh, everybody is up today. <laughs> so. Is there anything else yeah. you want to show us? Or? Well, yeah. Um, what I just want to point out is, is, is that uh, this is a, a great setup. It just took time to develop. Not all all the trades are just going to be instant gratification. But as long as the market doesn't put in a, a lower low and it consolidates, we can see that the trend indicator 
when the trend started to uh, uh, started to become uh, more present, the conditions started to uh, move higher. We've gotten the, the confirmation. So this was a great uh, example right here, and uh, we'll see uh, what's more movement to come. Now, if we go to the the next market, Susie, to stay in along the sure. lines of the Ethereum, if you go to the Ethereum Bitcoin, ETH BTC. Wow, it already triggered the average true range. Yeah. Now, uh, on the left hand side, right, if you get the arrow, Okay. Right. I just wanted to point out in here just a couple of things. Right. The the first one is is that we broke the ATR. So it's a significant of this cycle. Right. Because if you look at the ATR, the ATR has been going down for about thirty days. It, it broke September twelfth. So right now we're coming out of the thirty day cycle here. Uh, next in here is if you take a look in here at the um at the volatility index there's still more room to go yeah it's so a volatility 23 sorry joe right so i just want to just say that as we see money flow move into the ethereum because we're looking for the ethereum to break the uh the uh the atr we're already starting to see the movement here. Now, even though that TSI is all the way up there, it could stay up there. Like you see over there in September, how it can give like about three or four dots up there. Yeah. You know, before it goes down. So um, this is just more of a confirmation that we may see the cycle changing in the short term in the Ethereum. Just things that I look at. Um, I like the pairs. And I, I try to put things out so that each week in here, you can kind of see things from a different perspective of, of how I use the tools to win. So um, if we go back, Susie, to the Ethereum, what you want to put down, because we didn't put any text down, is waiting for the break of the ATR on our notes. Right there at the top. And you know, um, everyone that's with us, you, that's what that's what you're looking for. And you can set your alert for that. And if you're long the market, that's what you need to win. Right now, we need that cycle to break, and we need the cycle to hold. I mean, there's always that that one percent where it may not hold. Uh, you know, coming up to that line, it just may just hold. But right now, it looks like because we're already seeing the potential clues of the money flow. This is a whole money flow driven market. We're seeing it move already and break the cycle on the Ethereum Bitcoin. This just may be next, let's say. Now, if you go up there to the top, Susie, where that star is, if you write down the uh, price of that number, just so everyone knows what that is, I think it's like 1437. And it's dangerously close. That's what we say in the business. In the biz, dangerously close. <laughs> I love that. So 1,437 is the price point that will change the average true range to green. Cool. Okay. So now let's go to another market here. Let's go to the uh, Selena or Salon. Oh, that's third in, in up. 
No, no, actually, Solana, look, Solana is winning out of all of them at the moment, all of the baskets. Okay, so what's significant here is, is that this is just another one of our classic setups, right, that you get with um, the technology that we have. You get in the, the ERI, which shows the clue, and once you get that early reversal, then you're looking for um, the first green dot on the TSI or an additional confirmation because each time it happens different. This time it just so happens that we actually got a key and um, a green dot and the signal line. So we got a couple of things at the same time going on, Susie. Let, let's look at what we have. So we, well, we got to get the check mark out. So right now we have the volatility index, which is saying yes. We have the signal line, which is saying yes. We have the TSI, which is saying yes. Well, we're going to be and it's instead like of volatility the volatility okay. index zone that I love. Yeah. Um. I love it. And the radar. We didn't talk about the radar, too. Boom, boom, boom. Three, all three is the go minus the, no. the week. Well, well, what you want to do is, right, is that you want to go on the trend indicator. I think it just switched on you. Right? And you want to put waiting for the bell alert. So remove the check and let's put waiting for the bell alert. This is the only thing which is the last indicator. Um, to trigger before you act, before the train actually takes the, leaves the station. So if you miss the bell alert, then you just really miss the whole, the whole trade. It's, as you become better at playing the game, you know, it's really about scale in, scale in, scale in, and then take everything off and go to another market. And, and until the day comes when we actually officially move out of this, you know, the bear market, you know, cause it, it's dangerous trying to hold stuff through a bear market because you can get back a lot of profits. Uh, and I, I speak that on firsthand, firsthand. Like even me, as many years and experiences that I have, sometimes I'm just not too fast, Susie, you know? And like it's always like when I'm, I'm not in front of the computer or like I'm sleeping or eating and I think everything's okay and the market's putting a new high in. <laughs> so you have to have these alerts set. Okay. Great. I feel so this like looks good well, in here. Yeah, yeah. I, I think if seeing those articles today on the news, knowing that you have the high net worth individuals and the private family banks with the the range was ten million to five hundred million. You know, with, now, um, what I like for you to do, Susie, is that up at the top at the ATR. Yeah. Okay. Um, remove that check, and I want you to put waiting for, right, and put that number down. So that we, okay. that's what we're looking for next in this stage. Yeah. We need to know what that number is. So on the right-hand side, it should show it. I think it looks like 32. It's $32.54. Yeah. So um, that's what we're looking for. Uh, we need the ATR, and we need that trend indicator, and this thing is officially on its way. So we could, yeah. The other thing I think we should mention is I'm a huge fan, and I really appreciate you building this like this the candlestick color change when that candlestick turns into green do you want to tell them you know or your feelings on that joe because when you're green like up here what does that mean to you joe and then i'll tell you what i it means to me <laughs> well when you see it green that's just um a confirmation that the condition is uh has changed and the condition is by condition and and the market is trending you know conversely when you see the paint stop 
and you don't see the green and you see it white um and um that means that there's no trend so we kind of no, like I'm, look I'm, for that to happen i'm talking Pardon? about on the early reversal chart so on the early reversal when you have the green it signifies that you're down here in the over bought zone on volatility index. So do I think you were talking about the trend where there's no color? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you're, you're referring to the volatility index. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's another yeah. tool that you can use to follow along um, with the strategy as well, the color bars. Yeah, so what I wanted to tell everybody is that when you see the in the early reversal and the average true range chart, when you see those candle six turn to green, you're in danger zone of, of it going back down. And you could see, like, when you got green here, if you take your ruler and you say, all right, when that candle stick turned green, what happened? So in 25 days, it went down 37%. And the earlier I said, if you don't take profit for yourself, someone else is going to take your profit for you. <laughs> That's my new quote of the day. And I know a lot of times, I, I think, oh, I've got stamina, I, I've got this, I've got this, I'm just going to hold. Uh, but to be honest with you, I'm like the queen of regrets of not selling. So I've pushed myself to take profits so that I don't have that, you know, card of regrets. <laughs> so I just wanted to okay. just teach you because I feel like going through this journey, it, these little minuscule details of Joe's indicators have huge significance. And I think a lot of times those little mini details, like it, that color of the candlestick could really help you monetize at the maximal point that you can. Cause you, you'll remember, what does Crypto Girl say? When that indicator is green in the early reversal indicator zone, that means we're getting to a ceiling. Okay, sorry, Joe. I just wanted to highly emphasize that because I feel like there's gonna be some green zones coming soon in the next, in the next uh, few weeks here, and I want to make certain that people take profits. Okay, um, cool. I, that uh, taking profits is always a good thing. <laughs> so let's um, change this to the Matic. Right, and what's significant here is is that this broke the ATR. And it broke that cycle. So we're seeing the clues in these other markets with money flow that we're starting to, um, everything is starting to flow. Um, and, uh, and in this case point, we broke the ATR. It's trending with the Kelter band, with the radar. And this is probably the, one of the first times we're, I'm able, we're able to actually show you the whole radar uh, green. Yeah, beautiful. Right? Beautiful. Now, if you notice in there, um, we're on uh, the dollar sign, but mainly I, I just want to call your attention to the bell alert because the bell alert was the signal that was the last uh, chart overlay or indicator before we actually get the movement in the market. So um, that's where you would have been positioned at, that bell alert last. Now, if you would have been able to scale in, you would have been in, let's say, at the ERI. So at, when we got the ERI in there, which was before the bell alert, you could have scaled in there or with the TSI, but your last trigger is going to be that bell alert. And, you know, the, the, when the bell alert triggered, the market didn't go right away. Sometimes that happens. But um, when the market consolidates like it does and then it starts to move, um, such as now, now it's in a, a, an uptrend. And uh, there's room in there for everything to keep going higher. So this is one here that's uh, in motion right now. And uh, there's everything is, is, is a check, Susie. That's why I really wanted to show this because, you know, we're showing a lot of things are waiting for, waiting for, right? And I've show, been showing you the setups. Now, this is something that's it's already in motion. There's no waiting for it. This, this train has left the station and uh, the strategy uh, would have been uh, profitable 
um, utilizing these tools and this positioning. Um, and, and, you know, nobody knows how far it's going to go, but I think that high over there in August, Susie, which is like August 15th, like if you drew a horizontal line, I think it would be it would be amazing if it can get back up to that because I'm in that right now. And, and I've been in this from the summer, like holding things. Like, you know, like it, for me, this, this market here has been like roaring rapids, a great adventure. You know, I thought I fell, <laughs> fell over and, and drowned like three or four times and I got back in it. <laughs> They wrote that song. I get knocked down, but I get up again. <laughs> <laughs> so can, can I be like the, the risk queen here and explain to everybody if they're looking for uh, a long-term hold on this that they need to be ready for a potential like sell-off? I'm only saying yeah. this. I want to be the there. So yes, things are going in great motion, guys. But what I want to bring your attention to is some some risk factors. Okay, risk one is that right here, you are one, two, three counter bands, and this is above average. All right. So yes, we're super excited. Everything is looking green, but we're hitting a potential. I'm going to say a ceiling, but it's more of like a current time frame ceiling ultimately polygon i know the fundamentals of it it's it's a forever for me it's one of these coins that's infrastructure i see my grandkids probably benefiting that i don't even have yet <laughs> from something that i invest in like this okay because it is a blockchain and it's one of these very powerful scalable blockchains that i see a lot of people utilizing to buy nfts with so Beyond the fundamentals, you know, we do pride ourselves in just looking at the technicals, and that's what these indicators are about. But on even though I'm total long term on Polygon, I don't feel good of heart of all hearts to say, yeah, go Polygon for this moment because I I want you to get rewards today or tomorrow or the next day. So for short term rewards, you need to know that there is a potential that I mean this is beyond the ceiling, okay? Now, the other be the ceiling is right here with the TSI. So this is ranking a 91. So this is where you need to really understand these numbers and where, where you are and where you can go. And let's look at past performance. So last time there was like this little ceiling, it hit a 95.5, we're at a 91.1. .1. So you've got about four, four points to get to that past ceiling now this one went a little further closer to 99 all right so past performance just be realistic about all this okay so i'm going to delete that line the next portion is the trend doesn't really kind of tell you ceiling so that just says hey we're still moving up um signal line uh, here's a positive note signal line's got a lot of space there right when it gets tight and it's closer to the the gold line that's when you got to worry this is not looking close at all so that's a good sign all right and then on the volatility index you guys know my favorite place to buy is down here like that's my ideal like oh my gosh red ticket i'm buying the shirt it's a dollar right uh normally like probably 100 so right here you're at an 83 and the ceiling is gonna be at 100. So you do still have some room to grow. So by all means, this has got some great momentum. I love the project. Oh, and then like Joe said, you've got all green ahead. So personally, I think there's a lot of momentum here. I am long on this one, but for all those people that wanna just get in and get out before Thanksgiving, so you have something to talk about on Thanksgiving and say, oh, I 10 times my money on Polygon. You may have some little um, twists and turns in this one because you're getting close to some one day ceilings. OK, so this is a one day chart. But if you're holding it until Christmas or New Year's or something, I think you got some good promise here. Is that OK? I said all that, Joe. <laughs> I don't want to be negative. Yeah, here, look, but... uh, no, no, look, look, that's fine. I mean, um, let's just um, keep going because I, I, before we run out of time, I just want to make sure I cover. Just uh, a couple more coins that are that are just in the now, 
uh, right now. Sure. Like, if you go in here to the algo. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh, in this case point, we're just starting to get the signal line today. So what we want to do is, is that we got to check for the volatility. We have a check on the signal line. We're waiting for the uh, trend bell alert. We got to check on the TSI. And we're looking in here at that ATR level. So we're waiting for the bell alert and we're waiting for a break at that ATR. So in this case point, there's two uh, more additional uh, chart overlays that have not triggered yet. So this is uh, uh, right now looking like a, an opportunity in the moment. It's just starting to move on today, um, breaking uh, that middle counter band. And if we can get a close above that, we may start to see this trend. You know, because what happens is is that, you know, when, every, when one market starts to move, they all move, right? It's like uh, carts on the train. So, it, you know, this is just one of the case points where, as we're seeing a lot of markets challenge the ATR. And um, and what we'll do is, is we'll mark these, Susie, so we can start to follow up with the, the best coins, like, in the basket that, you know, from, from when we go over things. So that that way there, um, just trying to bring you the uh, the best opportunity uh, to learn from. And, you know, until at some point you become a butterfly. And uh, no one knows how high you're going to fly or, or what color your wings will be. But at some point with these tools, uh, the dime will drop. And you'll start to experience some type of uh, great success. I mean, uh, you know, and that's what I aspire for everyone. Um, with the time that I'm spending here with you and Susie and everybody on our on our team, uh, Brett, um, we all um, contribute 100% in here to try to uh, give you the best tools, uh, the best technology, the best information uh, to make adequate decisions and to learn from and to grow. And that's uh, part of our team here uh, with Crypto Mastery. You're the best, awesome. Joe. I know if you want to end it at that, we can. Um, I just do want to emphasize before we jump off that, guys, make certain that you create in your watch list your basket, and these are everything that's going on right now. So we didn't go over Cardano, but that one is doing great too. So you have the average range for the one day. Oh, it was just there, Joe, but it swung back. Glad we got that on camera. Um, the TSI is up. You've got the key and the bell with Cardano, and then you have the signal line, and I love it. It's at a 20.5, guys. It's on the line. It, it's still in my little favorite zone of 20. That's exciting. So I think Cardano looks like it's in a good place. We looked at Algo. We looked at Ethereum. We didn't look at Phantom yet, so here's Phantom really quick. So we've got the TSI on one day's in. You're, you've got the trend going up. You've got the signal line up. Oh, it's... it's just like the last one, it's at a 20.78 volatility index. And early reversal came in days ago. And you still have a lot of room to grow on that that uh, counter band. Uh, to get it out of the average true range, we've got to hit, uh, wow, oh, Phantom, 583 to get to that out of that average true range. The last one, we have Cardon. This is one, which is Harmony. Boom. First trigger on the TSI, the trend, we're still waiting on that. The signal line is super close, looks like it's about to change. What I love the most, that volatility index is at 15.57, so we're under that 20 mark, super low. The early reversal came in three days ago, and we're super, super low on that um, Keltner band. We, we haven't hit the second zone or the third, so we have a lot of room to grow on this one, and you have, it's up for the average of the hour, four hours on one day. So, and I think the one other one, we didn't look at Litecoin or Link yet for the basket. So Litecoin is up on the TSI, it's up on the trend, it's up on the signal, it's at a 27 for volatility index, and you know, it hasn't hit that overbought zone. So that's super exciting. Looks like it's saying steady Freddy at the same time, 
price on Coinbase ranking at like around 54. Once it passes 56.55, you're out of that downward average true range. And last, squeeze the link in. You got the key on links. You're waiting for that bell. You have the TSI up for three days straight. Early reversal came in and the signal line is printing its first green dot. So it's early on, guys. Check the chain link out. Now it's already surpassed my my 20 and under club for the volatility index is at 33 ah oh my god i feel like i've lost the train joe it's like the train's already coming but the good thing is is the signal line just happened today and the key happened today so and it's all green one hour four hour one day and then we're just waiting on that week but will come if these stay in the green zone so i feel like overall guys the market is back and it may be a hot winner in crypto it's 101. So I'm sorry, guys, it took you over one minute. Anything you want to say? Wow. Well, I just wanted to say, Susie, that was well done on that basket. And out of everything in that basket, the one, uh, that one coin, one USD. Oh, right? Harmony. That looks hot and early. Yeah. 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 I mean, look, that's going to be an interesting one to watch because see that signal line, right? um yeah and it looks like the tsi so um i would say let's just leave it on that note um that's one that you want to watch this week and have uh the alert set that looks like that's just getting ready to go and um you know thank everyone for joining us today you know for this uh week's session thanks guys it'll be on youtube probably by the end of the day please go to our facebook private group and if you need those indicators jump in it's crypto mastery dot online all right looking forward to see you guys next week happy trading go make some money for us all right bye guys